Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're back at Soul Belly Barbecue for another songwriter showcase with Hal Savar and some amazing local talent. Every time this crowd gets together, it's a good time full of friendly support for original music, delicious food, and lots of laughs. <laughs> If you'd like to be on the showcase, hit up House of R using the social media handle on screen. Feel free to drop by for the next one in December, in person, or on the live stream right here on the channel. This was also the Thanksgiving show, so grab your stretchy pants and get ready to get your gobble on. Get it? Because it's turkey day and they, they you'll figure it out. Located on Brewery Row in the Arts District in downtown Las Vegas, Soul Belly Barbecue is becoming a destination spot for live music and award-winning barbecue. If you're interested in learning more about it, you can check out my review of the venue when you're done watching this video. Incidentally, if you'd like to be featured on the channel, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit me up using my email address on screen or the Room 6 social media link down in the description. While you're down there, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing. It all helps, and I thank you. Kicking things off like usual was our host, Hal Sabar. Known all over town as the Human Jukebox for playing hundreds of cover songs by request, Hal is also an accomplished songwriter in his own right, whose every song has a backstory full of humor and touching memories. It's always a treat to hear him play, and a great way to start the night. The next performer was future Room 6 guest, Dennis Blair. Denny's songs are simple songwriter fare, but with a little folk and Americana thrown in, plus some humor to round off the edges. His vocals are strong, but not overpowering his guitar work, and I'd love to hear him perform with a band someday. Up next was Just Jeff, one half of a duo called All at Odds that's graced this space recently. Yes, that's his real name. Seriously, Jeff, I have to go through this every time. Jeff's sound is full of humor combined with insightful lyrics, with relatable themes like relationships gone sour and being called the wrong name. It was a nice set of music from a genuinely nice guy. Coming up next was Quinn Turner and the Soulful Sons, one of two actual bands at the event. While the band was setting up, recent Room 6 guest and guest lead guitarist for the Soulful Sons, Burt Django, and the drummer for the Soulful Sons entertained the crowd for a bit to fill the dead air. Burt combines the energy of Elvis with classic rock and blues. It was a nice warm-up for the band. Quinn and the band also play cover songs all around town, but tonight was about laying the sexy down as they glided from one song to the next. Their music should come with a warning to anyone not wanting to have kids. A newcomer graced the stage in the form of Emily Stinnett, joined by Nathan Peterson on guitar. Emily's been making the rounds on the local scene, and the crowd at Soul Belly was glad to have her with a local vocal sound channeling Dolly Parton, Loretta Lynn, and other southern greats, and guitar work that fit the songs perfectly. Her first foray into the showcase stage definitely made an impact. Up next was Kook, featuring Spencer Hinton and their friend Christian on electric guitar, and they were a special guest back in town after hanging out in France. With an ethereal voice drifting over atmospheric guitar structures one moment, and a fusion of punk and bohemian chill vibe the next, making everyone engage their gray matter, Kook's set put everybody in a trance with a chill yet dynamic vibe. It was definitely a transcendent moment for everyone there, and if you caught it on the live stream, you have a little idea of what it felt like to be there. Following Kook was a surprise cover song by the owner of the place, Bruce. He regaled everyone with a very respectable ver version of She Talks to Angels by the Black Crows. It was a nice palate cleanser before the next act, which was, as is usual with live music events, the lineup went through some more changes with another surprise guest in the form of Lance Gittinger. Lance has performed before at the showcase, and like usual, his set was solid and full of introspective lyrics and guitar riffs designed to move the song forward and create a sense of story. The next act was showcase favorite Aubrey Digital. Aubrey is an amazing performance artist, usually blending clever lyrics and instrumental layers with tracks from her laptop. This time, she was keeping it simple by rocking the acoustic, and was even joined by Spencer from Kook for a tune. Finishing out the night were the featured headliners, Carl John's New West Revival. I interviewed Carl John a while ago by himself, and he was gracious enough to treat Room 6 viewers to a solo performance of some of his songs here. That was awesome. But with a band, everything got turned up to 11. 
Obviously, having a great time, the band's energy was palpable, and his songs took on a, us on a musical journey of change and discovery. It was a great way to end a great night of local original music, and I'm glad I was there to catch it. Overall, this month's songwriter showcase of Soul Belly Barbecue was awesome, and something I didn't realize I missed so much. The next one will be December 18th, and I hope we'll see you there, either in person or on the live stream. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that we'll see you either in person on December 18th or on the live stream. Definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on the, uh, the live stream happening. Um, oh yeah, like I said, if you want to be on the showcase, hit up House of R, and if you want to be on the channel, hit me up. Other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, click up here, and if you want to subscribe, you know what to do. Click down there. Don't forget to ring the bell. I appreciate you all. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.